Hello everyone, it's Mother Emily here. I hope you're well. This is Wilfred, my cat. Today is Ash Wednesday, a very special day in the Christian calendar. If we were all at school today, we would have gathered for a chapel service. But seeing as we're not, I figured I'd make a video for you. Just as there are four seasons in the year, summer, autumn, winter, and spring, there are seasons in the church's year. Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of Lent, the time when we start getting ready for Easter. And Lent has 40 days. And you might wonder, how can you best prepare for Easter? And no, it doesn't mean going early to the shops to buy your Easter eggs and hot cross buns. The church gets ready for Easter by slowing down a little taking some time to reflect and think and pray and making sure we're doing the things that are worth doing. It's about recognizing that each day is precious and trying to use it the best we can. Some people choose to give something up during Lent, like eating chocolate or playing video games, and they donate the money they would have spent on that thing to a charity or they use the time that they would have spent doing that thing, doing something else. Some people choose to do something which benefits the community during Lent, like spending time volunteering or donating food to a food bank. Some people choose to pray more during Lent, spending more time with God in prayer and praying for the people that they care about, and sometimes praying for people they don't even know. All of these are good things to do, but what might you do in Lent? It's a personal question, because each person needs to choose what they're going to do. But there are some things in common that are all part of observing Lent. The reason we have Lent is to help us refocus on God and what God teaches us about how to live. And that boils down to one thing, love one another and care about each other. So when people donate to charity or spend time volunteering or spend time in prayer, it's about showing who they love and who they have compassion for. So I have a challenge for you over these 40 days. My challenge for you is to do one thing every day which is kind. Maybe you'll play with someone new and make a friend. Maybe you'll help around the house without being asked to. Maybe you'll take some time to quietly pray for your friends and your family and let God know how much you love and care about them. Maybe you'll take some time to be kind to yourself too. That counts just as much. Keep a list. And so, at the end of Lent, you'll see the amazing things you've done and you'll be able to see, when Easter Day comes, how you've been living out the advice Jesus gave his disciples at the Last Supper. Love one another, just as I have loved you. And if you're able to do that, you'll have had a very happy and blessed Lent. Good luck from me and from Wilfred. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.